Yeah, you too. I don't get you to see you sit too much, Ed. You can use two chairs. <laughs> Thanks everyone for uh, coming on this uh, beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, a lot like uh, what we do for a living, if we batted 300 or 200 when it comes to weather reports, uh, I, I'd be fired. And I think everyone else for what they do for a living would be fired. Uh, we're supposed to have bad weather down at the shore since, uh, what, Thursday or Friday? Yes. Uh, and yesterday uh, when I spoke with Lisa, uh, we were going to be putting up the tent yesterday. They were concerned that we're going to have rain and uh, thunderstorms, and uh, we have a beautiful day here. Uh, we've actually been very blessed that since we started construction on this project, uh, which is about what, the first week in June, Bill? About the first week in June? Yes, sir. Yes, Greg? Yes. Uh, we've had spectacular weather. Uh, where we had a lot of thunderstorms for the 12 years to get here. Uh, I got involved with uh, Egg Harbor Township when Walmart brought me uh, this project in uh, 2004. About that, Peter? 2004? And during that time, we've gone through a, uh, a multitude of uh, issues. Uh, a lot like the 35 years that I've been involved uh, with development. Uh, when I first started building about 35 years ago, uh, there was a fledgling company uh, based out of the South. Uh, their names were Walmart, uh, and Walmart was a great tenant for us. Uh, we've now, for close to 25 years, uh, developed and built over 30 Walmart anchor shopping centers. Out of the 30 plus shopping centers, uh, this was the longest tenured shopping center that I've been involved in. Uh, and that's what I talk about, the 12 years of, uh, of ups and downs. But the one thing that was constant was Egg Harbor Township and uh, the administrator, Peter Miller. Uh, I, he was the first person that I saw come towards me, and I had to go up to him and thank them. Because we don't always agree, uh, but we always figure out how to work uh, through tough issues. And the story that I reminded uh, Peter was approximately six years ago, we started the litigation with a particular uh, group in Egg Harbor Township who didn't want to see this project move forward. And when we started with all the public hearings uh, in court, uh, I walked into the courtroom the first time and there was the township administrator, Peter Miller, sitting there with a pen and paper uh, wanting to hear what was going to take place. It wasn't because he wanted uh, our project. Uh, he wanted what was right for Egg Harbor Township. Uh, it was unique because I've been involved with a lot of issues in New Jersey and in Pennsylvania where we've had uh, friends in the community who haven't wanted our project. But never did I ever have a township manager and a township exec uh, stay so involved uh, with the issues that we had uh, in this community. So with that, I want to thank Peter very much uh, for all that you've done for us. Uh, Likewise, I got to meet about a decade ago in the township facility, uh, the mayor at the time. And of course, everyone knows Sonny uh, to the right of me. And uh, I went back to his office and he said to me, are you for real? Are you really going to build this project? And of course, you would tell any mayor of any community, of course we're for real. Of course we're going to build it. And uh, over the years, uh, we had intermittent phone calls. And I continue to say to him that both Walmart and the developer uh, are committed to Egg Harbor Township. And as we all know, we've been through a lot of tough years in Egg Harbor Township with all that's taken place uh, in Atlantic City, with the loss of jobs. Uh, Sonny has been a uh, mainstay. Uh, once again, don't always agree on issues, but that's okay. He was doing what was right for his community. And he stuck by us, and we told him that we were going to build this you know, shopping center. Uh, and what we see here today, without the public and the private partnership, uh, this could not have been built today. Uh, too much had gone on, both with our friends in the community, with CAFRA, with uh, permits being uh, almost lost, 
uh, because of the Permit Extension Act. NJDOT, is anyone here from NJDOT? What nice people are NJDOT? <laughs> Uh, we, we enjoy NJDLT very much. We have all the projects in the state of New Jersey. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot like what my dog does, I'm doing. I'm kicking the ground right now and making a hole for myself, Chris. Uh, uh, Chris with McMahon. McMahon has done work for us uh, for now over 25 years. Uh, several projects in New Jersey. And uh, uh, we're very appreciative of you getting us through that hurdle. Uh, Ken O'Brien and your team uh, on this project. Uh, there are folks here that I want to also thank very much uh, because as I, I said to you, without Sonny, uh, we couldn't have done this. And, and the same way we just gave Peter a pause, I have to give Sonny because without Sonny, we couldn't have done this. Once again, the public private partnership uh, was just tremendous. Uh, from my organization's perspective, uh, the folks I have to thank very much is Ed, you've been with me now. We've been together for 18 years. Uh, you know, this was our longest project. This took us, what, 12 years? Yeah. Uh, uh, we don't need any more 12 year projects, uh, do we? Uh, we know what we're just going to take us a little bit longer than 12 years, uh, but we're, we're going to get there uh, for Walmart and ourselves also. Uh, my friend Tony, who's sitting to the uh, left of Ed, uh, who's a partner and friend for uh, over 20 years. Uh, you know, he and Ed uh, have been an integral part of uh, believing in both uh, Egg Harbor Township and this project for Walmart to get built. Uh, we have my leasing team, uh, which I'm very excited to have here. Uh, Ann got to meet uh, the mayor, so he gave you a lead already. Uh, well, Jen and Dallas, thank you very much. This is exciting. We only hope we have future projects. Uh, Bill, who, uh, where's Bill? Uh, Bill, you know, we're going to miss you, Bill. Uh, it's been uh, a great ride for 15, 18 years, you and I. And I only hope your next endeavor doesn't take you 12 years either. Uh, but this has been uh, a fun project. Uh, who else am I missing from my organization? Uh, John, there you are. John, it's a new beginning. I'm excited about, uh, you know, you're taking uh, additional areas. And uh, this is a great project for us uh, to really enjoy and move forward on. Uh, our relationship both with Bowler, who's here, our engineering group, uh, Jeffrey M. Brown, uh, Greg Altifer, who uh, has uh, been on my projects now for over 20 years. Uh, I think our first Walmart that you and I had done was in uh, Quakertown, uh, Richland Township, Pennsylvania. And uh, this will be uh, this one and many more we hope to be able to build. Uh, I don't see Pearson here, uh, but we're, you know the brotherhood means a lot to us. Uh, and we've been able to use uh, the majority of this project. I think, uh, Bill, we're at about 98%, 97% of this job. Uh, we're using uh, Brotherhood labor. That's from carpenters to electricians to steel workers, uh, etc. on this project. Of course, the site work that's being done. Uh, I want to thank the county and all the township committee folks for, for helping us. Uh, this project could not have been done without uh, you being very supportive of the project. Uh, so at this time, I'll say some uh, uh, remarks at the end because I like to thank my bankers, but I'm going to thank them at the end because uh, without them, uh, this project wouldn't have been done. But I'll, I'll wait to the end to thank you, Casey. I want to see if I'm going to save the best for last. Okay. So with that, I'd like to have Sonny would you like to come up and say something. All right. Thank you, Steve, and uh, congratulations to you, Steve, and to your beautiful wife, who is our uh, guest photographer today. 